it's Miss Lesko here. As you know, I um, have been really encouraging you guys to learn some life skills. And last week we talked about repotting plants. This week I'm in the kitchen. Um, we're going to learn how to make a really simple dish. Um, and yeah, you need parent permission um, to do this after the fact. Um, probably they need to be in the kitchen with you because you're gonna be using the stove. But um, it's simple enough that you could probably take the lead and do all of it as long as they're just kind of in the room, just keeping an eye out on you and making sure that you're being safe. So we are gonna be making spaghetti today. Um, I'm actually making this around um, lunchtime because Hazel's napping and so it's easier to just make it ahead of time because I'm turning this spaghetti into baked spaghetti for dinner. Um, and I'll kind of show you how to do that too if you wanted to take, take that route where you can just eat the spaghetti as is. So all I have right now is my stuff set up. I have nothing like going, so we're just gonna do the process together. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see everything. It's kind of hard to like do it on a phone or a computer. Like I'm trying my computer, so we're gonna see. Um, all I have set up right now is my stove. Um, I have a pan that has nothing in it. Um, this is what I'm going to cook the ground beef in. I've washed my hands and rolled up my sleeves. Um, and then I have I put water in this. I did put water in there. Um, I don't really measure my water. I just make sure that all my pasta is covered. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this water on. Um, I turn mine on high on your little knobs over here. I turn it on high and I'm going to bring it to a rapid boil. So I'll show you what a rapid boil looks like once it gets there. While that's boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. So it's on high. Before I move on from here, I'm gonna add salt to my pot. Um, salt helps um, flavor your pasta. So if you're ever just making plain pasta um, while you're for lunch or whatever else and you're just making plain pasta for yourself, you can just throw some salt in. I don't, again, I don't measure. I just put some in my hand, probably about a tablespoon, and then sprinkle that in the water and then I can put my salt to the side. I also, you don't have to do this at all, but I do this because it's just how I've always done it. I put a little bit, tiny bit of olive oil um, in my pasta water because it helps your pasta not stick. Um, and then we're gonna just let that sit and I'll blow away some salt there so it doesn't get on the stove eye. We um, are now gonna move on to the pan. So I'm gonna move it down a little bit so you can see the pan. I have nothing in this pan and the eye is not on. Um, I'm going to turn it on and I'm gonna put it on, I know you can't see my eye, I'm gonna try to turn you a little bit. I'm gonna turn my eye to medium high. So there's high, there's medium. I'm gonna put it right in between. Still don't know if you can see that, sorry. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna turn it on there. I'm gonna let it get a little bit hot, but not too hot and I have a, if you want to know a trick, hang on. A little trick is if you put a wooden spoon across the top of your pasta water, um, the water won't boil over the pot. So that's how I always leave my um, pasta water boiling. Okay, now we're gonna move on to this pan um, and we're just gonna jump in and get started. It's getting semi-warm. I have my ground beef here, it's in its package. Um, you can just pick this up at any old store. So I'm gonna open it up. I haven't done anything to it, obviously, because I'm just now opening it. And I'm just gonna plop it in the pan, like so. And then I'm gonna throw this part away and put that plate in the sink. Okay. Now, I have a spatula like this. It's wooden. You can use any kind of spatula that you want to. You can use a plastic spatula, whatever you have, it's fine. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start breaking it up, like so. And I just keep kind of smushing it down and breaking it up until it gets into smaller pieces that are easier to cook. And then you're gonna wanna start tossing them. Oh, just a little bit, not like aggressively or anything. You're just gonna gently be tossing it and you can see that some of the undersides are already turning brown. That's what you want. You could probably turn down your heat just a smidge 
um, to almost medium, and you're just gonna let that cook. You're gonna let that cook until, until it gets nice and brown. I do, while it's cooking, I season the meat just a little bit while keeping an eye on my, pa my pasta water. Don't forget about your pasta water over here on that eye either. So it's cooking a little bit. I might have to turn my eye back up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pepper, just like regular black pepper. I'm going to pepper just a little bit of the um, meat for some extra flavor. I don't do a lot because my family doesn't love a lot of pepper. So I'm just going to do like a sprinkle around all the meat a little bit and be done with that. And I'm going to put it to the side. I'm going to give it another toss. You want to keep moving your ground beef though because if you leave it setting, um, it's going to burn and you don't want it to burn. So keep moving your meat around and letting that cook. Spaghetti will usually take you 30 minutes or less to make. Um, this would be something fun for you to do with your family or you know, surprise your family and say, hey, I'm going to make dinner. I just need somebody to sit in the kitchen with me, but I'm going to do everything. Um, that could be something fun for you to do. And then we're just going to let that meat keep cooking. Now you can see that the meat is nice and brown. Um, I'm going to keep letting it cook a little bit because there's still some pink in there, but I am going to turn it down to medium. My water is starting to boil a little bit. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to put a little garlic salt in um, the meat. That's what we like. You can just use regular salt. You don't have to use anything. But I do like a little bit of garlic salt. Um, I will put one sprinkle over while the meat's cooking, and then I'll put another one. Um, after I get the sauce in here, we like garlic salt quite a bit. You can also put onion powder in here if you want to. Um, you can actually put real garlic, real onions in there. Whatever you want to do, you can do that. And this meat's nice and brown. I'm just going to continue to let it cook. And then I'm going to kind of show you our water and see where we're at with our water. So let's see if we can see our water yet. I'm going to move you a little closer. If you can see, it's starting to bubble. That's getting closer to where we need it. It's not quite a um, rolling boil yet, which is what we are going to need to do the pasta. Um, my meat is just still cooking. Um, it's pretty much cooked now. The meat is pretty much done. So I'm probably, for just a few minutes, I'm just going to turn my eye on low. So I've turned it on the lowest setting that you can right here. Um, just so I make sure that it doesn't burn while I'm attending to the pasta and the pasta water. And then we'll come back to this with um, the sauce. So I'm going to give this one more stir. And then while I'm waiting that to finish boiling, I'm going to go ahead and open my spaghetti noodles. I just got Kroger brand spaghetti noodles. Um, whatever you have. You don't even have to use spaghetti noodles. You can use sota pasta. You can use penne pasta. There's tons of pasta that you can use. So like there is bowtie pasta, which is a different kind of pasta. Um, Rigatoni pasta. My family likes pasta, so we got a lot of it. Um, so there's tons of different pasta that you can use, so you can use whatever you have in your pantry. Um, but while I'm just gonna go ahead and have the box open and ready to go. So when the water is ready, I can just like dump it in and be good. Give my meat another stir. 
because while we're cooking the pasta and we're waiting for it to to cook, we're gonna add our spaghetti sauce in here and let that heat up and finish it all out. Um, it's really simple. It's not too, too hard. Make sure though you have adult supervision um, just so you're being safe. Um, but this is one of the first dishes that I learned to make on my own. When I was about your age, I always used to help my mom and dad cook in the kitchen. Um, my dad did a lot of the cooking, but my mom did a lot of the like prepping. So she would prep in the morning and get things ready to go in that evening. Me and my dad would cook dinner together. Um, but yeah, this is one of the first things I learned to cook on my own. Um, pasta for sure, because I really like pasta and it's pretty simple. Um, and it only takes water in a pot and some pasta. And you can put butter on it, salt and pepper, flavor it however you like. Okay, I'm gonna let that meat sit there and I'm gonna bring you over here as best I can um, and kind of show you where we're at with our pasta and what a rolling boil looks like. So if you're looking at our pasta, how fast the water's moving. There you go. When you start to see bubbles like that popping up and it's getting faster and faster, that's a rolling boil. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pasta and you can empty it out if you want to. And you're gonna stick it in the pan like so. Sometimes you can just dump it out of the box. Um, and then you're gonna wanna read the directions. It says on here, that we need to do nine to 11 minutes to cook it. I don't start the timer until I get all of the pasta under the water. So what I mean by that is like all of the pasta needs to be covered and kind of in the water. And once I get it to there, I want to turn down my stove, turn down my stove, I turn it to like, if it has numbers, probably around seven, um, five, so about medium. I'm gonna turn it there, and I'm gonna give it another stir. All right, give it another stir. Then I'm gonna start my timer. So you can either use your oven timer, that's what I usually do, or if you have a kitchen timer like this one, you can use. Um, and then you can even use your microwave timer. I'm gonna use my oven timer just because I know that'll remind me when I need to be done. So I'm gonna set it for nine minutes because it's already been going for about a minute while we were stirring it in and while I was talking and stuff like that. Now, with pasta, you just pretty much leave it alone, but you do wanna make sure you give it a stir every now and then because if you don't, it'll all stick together and be like one big clump and that's not what you want. So I'm just gonna give it a stir and then I'm gonna leave it alone and we're gonna focus on our sauce. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna turn it down to medium so it doesn't overflow. Okay, back to our sauce here. And I'm gonna give the meat a stir. It's still on low. And I'm just gonna use a regular store-bought sauce. I don't make my own sauce. This is Prego traditional. You can get whatever you have, um, just pasta sauce. So I'm gonna open it up. And then I'm going to just dump it in here. Be careful though, because it can splash on you. Then what I do is I shake it just a little bit, but not too hard because you want to go everywhere. And then I let the jar sit upside down on the lid over here to the counter, because then all the sauce that's like stuck to the side will kind of go down to the, to the bottom and I can put a little extra in the pan. So then I'm going to gently, you don't want to sling it everywhere. I'm going to gently stir in this pasta sauce, spaghetti sauce with the meat that I've already cooked. Now I'm going to turn my heat up just between low and medium, so right in the middle, because I want the pasta um, sauce to heat up as well. All right. Stir that in there. I'm gonna see what extra we get out of when we let it sit upside down. You get a little bit more. There we go. And then you can dis uh, discard or throw away your stuff. So I'm gonna throw that away and throw this away. Come back and I'm gonna st just stir that back in. Make sure that's all good and 
stirred and then I'm gonna let this sit and it's just gonna heat on through and get nice and hot and it'll be ready to go um, and that part's basically done. Now, what I will do though before I move up, I'm going to stir my pasta really quick. We need to make sure we keep stirring our pasta. We can't forget about it. Make sure we're stirring it and we're good to go. All right, gave it a nice little stir. That back there. I am going to, remember I said I add garlic salt um, to my sauce. So what I'm going to do I'm going to add this garlic sauce or salt to the sauce. So I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to sprinkle it across the top. You can do as little or as much as you want. That's you and your and your family's preference. Um, that's about as much as we like. It does get a little messy, so I always blow mine away from the eye that's on because I don't want it to burn on the eye. And then... You're going to just stir that garlic salt in there. You do want to keep, you know, moving your sauce around too because you don't want your sauce to burn. Um, if you just let it sit there, it might burn on the bottom. And that would be, one, not tasty, and two, hard to clean after the fact. So, just keep stirring that in. Um, and we're going to keep stirring our pasta um, just to make sure it doesn't stick. And so, we have about four and a half more minutes left of cooking the pasta and so we're just gonna let that cook its way down and then we'll continue so now you can just hang out with your family for a second you can um, text your friends you can whatever but don't leave the stove you don't want to leave food that's cooking unattended because that's not safe um, it could catch on fire, it could burn, it could do a lot of things. Don't leave the stove while you're cooking. Um, so you'll have to stand here and do something that you can do by the stove or at least like in the same room um, within the kitchen. So yeah, you just want to be safe. And just keep stirring your stuff and making sure that it doesn't burn. And it's almost done. It's almost time for spaghetti. Or in my case, making baked spaghetti because I'm turning this into something else. But you could eat it just like this if you wanted to. Totally up to you. Okay, that was my pasta timer telling me that it is done. So I'm gonna give this sauce one more stir because it's bubbling, which is great because that means it's warmed all the way through. But I'm gonna turn it on low so while I'm working with the, the pasta, it doesn't do anything crazy. So that's pretty much done. And now we're gonna come over our pasta. I'm gonna give it one last stir. And as you can see, the pasta is now nice and soft and limp. Now remember, you gotta read the directions of your pasta package because it's gonna tell you how long to cook it. So I have one of these cool um, things that attach to my pasta um, pot. You might have a colander or you might have to have a parent help you with the lid. Ask your parent or guardian, whoever you live with, older brother and sister, what you need to use to drain the pasta water. So I'm gonna pop that on there. I do like to use um, oven mitts when I do this because I don't wanna hurt my hands. So I'm making sure I'm gonna turn my eye off. So it's off and I'm gonna put these cool little oven mitts on. I'm gonna put it to a side so I can move the computer over here. Grab my pasta with my lid and I'm gonna carefully, slowly pour my water out. there so you can see it pouring out being very careful 
if you were using a colander, you would just dump the pasta into the colander. And a colander is like a bowl with holes in it. So a colander looks like this part. Um, and you would just put it in your sink. And then I take this part off right here. Put this part in the sink. And then I move this back over here to where I'm working. So I'm gonna move this over here. As you can see, I didn't put it back on the eye. I put it on a pot holder, so um, I don't put it back on the eye. I'm gonna give my sauce another stir really quick. Stir, 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 stir. And then what I do, a lot of people don't do this, but I've always done this, is I put butter in my um, pasta. So I'm gonna grab some butter really quick. We just use stick butter, but I don't put the whole stick in there. I put probably about half, so I'm gonna just cut the half, um, halfway mark on my butter. I'm gonna turn my pasta water off because it keeps bubbling. Um, uh -oh. And then I'm gonna just use half of this butter. So I'm gonna use this half, and put the other one to the side. And all I do is I just dump it in there. And then I'm just gonna give it a stir and make sure that the butter gets nice and melted. And I'm just gonna let that, let me pass over. I'm gonna let that sit there while the butter melts because the hot pasta will melt the butter. Now, there's several ways that you could serve this to your family um, or for yourself. You could just eat the plain pasta. I do that all the time, I love plain pasta. Or you could mix the sauce in the noodles if that's how your family likes it i know for me and my family i don't like a lot of sauce but my husband does so i keep them separate and we plate them separately so we put the noodles on the plate and then we put the sauce on the plate um but a lot of families like to just mix it all together and you can do that so i'm going to show you how we would plate it but and then i'm going to show you how to mix it because for my baked spaghetti for tonight i have to mix it anyway so let me get a plate. So I've just got a little plate because I'll just eat a little bit for lunch. Um, and I'm gonna set it right here to the side for a second. I'm gonna stir and make sure my butter's nice and melted. Stir that up. Okay. Now you can take tongs to grab your pasta. So you can have tongs like this or pasta spoons that have um, a hole in the middle and then these grippers. It's good because it'll grip all of the pasta. Um, I'm a lot neater with the tongs, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna use that instead. So what I'm gonna do, give one more stir and I'm gonna plate it up. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit. I don't wanna grab too much because I wanna use it in my baked spaghetti and I'm really not that hungry for lunch. So I'm gonna a little bit again you would eat a lot more for dinner and so there I would just eat that honestly like that would be a fantastic lunch for me a little salt a little pepper good to go um but you know most people like sauce so I would have to use a different spoon than this because um it's flat and it's not really a spoon so I'm gonna set it to the side and I'm gonna just um get one of my spoons over here we usually use this spoon so I'm just gonna get a little bit because I only have a little bit of pasta so I'm gonna take it and then I'm just going to put it on the top and then if you wanted to you could add cheese on top parmesan cheese or whatever else and then you have spaghetti so you're basically done with dinner and that's been it's been 30 minutes since we've been on so there's dinner right there um, but like I told you, I'm making baked spaghetti and I was going to bring you along for that journey <laughs> as well. So keep watching if you want to. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this sauce into this big old pot um, and I'm going to kind of mix it up together. So I'm going to do that and move that spoon to the side. So I'm, all of my eyes are off. Now they're still hot, so I still don't want to touch them. So you have to be extra careful. Ask parents for help if you need it. So I'm going to take my pasta sauce and I'm going to just dump it in there. Make sure I get all of the good sauce that we just made. And I'm going to set that to the side. I don't want to make a big mess. 
And then I'm just gonna use both of my spoons over here and I'm just gonna toss them. I'm gonna toss it up and mix it all together. So I'm gonna move you over here to my other like workstation um, where we're gonna assemble our um, baked spaghetti. Brought you to my other counter so I can show you how we're gonna do this baked spaghetti. So I have a nine by 13 baking dish. I use the clear glass one, whatever you have. You can tell the size. Um, if you look on the back, it'll tell you what size it is. So I have this baking dish, nothing's done to it yet. Um, I'm gonna go grab my spaghetti that I've made and put it to the side and I'm gonna grab some mozzarella cheese and Pam spray. It'll keep it from sticking in the, um, in the casserole dish. So let me grab that stuff. Okay, so I have mozzarella cheese here and um, just in the bag shredded, but I also found some pizza blend cheese that's already been opened. So it has uh, mozzarella, smoke flavored provolone, Parmesan, and um, Romano cheese. So it's already open, so I might use some of that in my layered um, baked spaghetti. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and open my mozzarella cheese. My pizza one's already open. I'm gonna take my Pam and I'm going to carefully, cause it goes everywhere, I'm gonna spray it on the inside and along the edges, okay? Then I'm gonna take my beautiful spaghetti that we have all nice and mixed up. Make sure that we have it mixed up grab that. I'm also going to grab my tongs and my other spoon because it's going to make it easier to layer. So let me grab this. Got my other spoon that I used earlier and my tongs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take things out of this pot over here and I'm going to layer them in my dish. So I'm just going to carefully take it and put it in the bottom of my dish. Make sure you try to get an even amount of meat and pasta in there. Use your spoon to help you if you need to. Now I have a nice even layer on the bottom of the pan. Just like in a lasagna, you're gonna want some layers here. So um, I know you can see my computer. Hopefully you can see the rest of it. Maybe if I back it up a little bit, you can, there you go. See a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna use, I think the one that I have open the the pizza blend, but again, you can use your mozzarella and you're just gonna take it and you're just going to make a nice little layer of cheese. Who doesn't love cheese and spaghetti? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to get some more out of my spaghetti here and I'm gonna get the rest of it actually and make another layer of spaghetti. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my, not actually, I'm gonna use the rest of this one because it's almost empty and I don't wanna, I don't wanna save just a little bit when I wouldn't be able to use it. So I'm just gonna use the rest of that one. That's the, that was the pizza blend. So it's gonna be like pizza spaghetti. Um, and then I'm gonna put regular mozzarella on the top. You can see that that's a little bit bigger cheese and it's gonna get all nice and melted and it's gonna make a nice cheese topping to my spaghetti. And then you can cut it like a, like a cake almost. All right. That looks nice and even. Maybe one more in the middle and on the side right here. Okay, and then with this, I'm going to just, I'm gonna cover it. Um, sorry, hang on. I'm gonna cover it and put it in the fridge because like I said, I'm gonna bake this tonight for dinner. Um, but if you were just gonna bake it, I think you just put it in the oven for 375 for like 20, 25 minutes until your cheese is melted because everything else is already cooked. So 25 minutes, 20 minutes, just keep an eye on it in the oven at 375 um, and you should be good to go. So I hope that you 
learned something today um, about the kitchen, maybe cooking, um, maybe even just pasta. I would love for you to try to cook something um, in your kitchen and um, film it, send a picture to me, whatever. I would love to see what you're making, but please make sure you get parent permission, especially if you're using the stove or the oven or anything that they have said you have to be careful around. Please get parent permission and also maybe make sure that they're in the room just for safety. Um, but whatever you cook, whatever you make, even if it's just a sandwich, send me a picture. Um, I wanna see what you're making, what you're cooking. Um, and maybe it'll, maybe you can send me the recipe and I can make it. I would love that, I love new recipes. So um, yeah, so spaghetti and baked spaghetti in under basically 30, in about 30 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you make some dinner for your family. Let me know how it goes. Bye, see you later.